hello hello welcome to my channel today I'm going to attempt this is my second take of making a pocket tag yeah it's like a combo so what I have is I have my napkin and I have it it's a law it's a larger one because I want a larger tag pocket and <clears throat> so it has the images on both sides when it's folded okay I have a 11 by five and a half. I think it was five and a half. Where's my ruler? Pretty sure it was five and a half. Oh no, sorry. This is 11 by four and a quarter. So, yeah, 11 by four and a quarter. <clears throat> so, what I'm gonna do is I'm using a glue stick because I don't want the wet with the napkin, it gets too wrinkly. So I'm gonna start off, I'm just going to do a little section at a time, instead of trying to glue the whole thing down. So I wanna make sure I get where I want it. So I should have put a thing underneath that, but I want to get all of these little critters on there. So just kind of making sure they're straight. Okay. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to pull it back just a smidge and get just kind of keep gluing down the sides here. Just kind of push it down as you go. Pull, pull, and push. Pull it up. This is how I, I like doing this glue, glue stick, because you don't get the crinkle wrinkles like you do with the wet at least I don't and I don't know how to do that not get them with the wet stuff so make sure you get the edges pretty good and just do section by section press it down it up a little bit so you know where your glue's at. Just keep gluing down. Oops, I got a little little bit here. <clears throat> Goodness. There. Yes. So, let me wipe up some of this glue here. Oops, sorry, it's knocking there. Now, just kind of let that glue set for a minute. A little crooked there, you can see, but that's all right. I think it'll be fine. And then if you see any little spots, <clears throat> especially like this corner here, this doesn't really matter because this is probably going to get cut off, but still, I want to have it. Make sure they're down. Especially the bottoms here. And this corner for sure. This whole bottom here. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to let this dry for a minute. Okay, so I let it dry. So now I'm going to just cut, trim, trim the napkin off. Cut that right off there. I think this is going to be kind of cool if it turns out the way I want it. Trim that off. a nice, cute, I don't know, little botanical piece we could use somewhere. Okay, so I got this so far. So now, just fold this in half. Try to get it as best as you can. Might be off a little bit like I am here, a little bit. I think my cutter is not the greatest cutter. I think it's I think I need to get a new cutter because I don't think it's very straight. Okay. So I'm just going to trim that a little bit here. Better? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to distress it just a little bit on the bottoms here. Actually, I think I'm going to do this first. I'm going to take my old one that I tried doing before. And let's make marks where the tag's going to go. Or where the thing's going to go. Okay. Yep. So now I think I will distress this. that's going to be cut off. So, hold on here. Okay, I sewed all the way around. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the corners here where it's going to make the tag. And then, then I'm going to sew these. Okay? So I'll be right back. Okay. So I sewed those. And again, you don't really have to worry about the top again because that's going to be cut. But I'm still. I think I want just a smidge darker. It's hard to really tell. A little bit darker, you can kind of see it better. All righty, so now let's build. Whoops, I'll need that back up. Let's build the gussets. Put this away or aside for a second. So I have one and a half inch strip by five and a half that's how 
Oops. Yeah, that's how long it is, but I don't want it because I, I forgot I got to cut this. So let's cut this off. So they will be. I ball it. So they are what four? Four and a half. Four and a half by one and a half. Okay. So then I'm gonna score. Where's my little scoreboard? Oh, right here. Well, I'm going to score the half inch marks. So I'm going to score at half an inch. I'm going to erase that just because I don't know if it'll show or not. So I scored at the half inch. And the one inch. Okay. You can make these larger, smaller. This is, like I said, this is kind of my prototype. Oops, get your fingers out of the way. <clears throat> so, and we there. And then we just do the, yeah. Hold them in the opposite direction. Ink these all up. So I want to have it look pretty on the sides. I definitely need to get a new topper for my thing here. It's pretty bad. Sure you get all the creases because you never know what's going to show. At least I don't. So I think I'll do this one too. And do this one just in case that shows. Depending how it gets glued. Right? And sorry for my mess here. So I'm going to do, it's like a tag pocket. I hope this turns out. So this might not ever get uploaded. I don't know. Let's see. So I just do that. That side. And there. Okay. So now out and that needs to be facing out right yes so I'm going to just kind of miter these a little bit in the early manner I'm pretty sure it goes like that Glue on this edge. Oops, wrong one. To change my cap. I'm 
Put it on the edge carefully. Okay. And same with this one, lighter this edge. on there, put it right to the edge, if you can, come on, bring it in there, I don't know why this one's shorter, it's shorter, I must cut more off, that's alright, I don't think it really matters, so when that's down like that, so you do have a little bit of a Maybe it goes like that. Yeah. Let's flip that around. See, I always do it backwards. So that goes like that. Unless I need, maybe you got to have four things for a miter. I don't know. I'll do this. Make sure those are dry. Where's my little... I love this thing. My little glue eraser thing. Sure that's off because I don't want to glue these together, right? So get off there. Get off there. Alrighty. Sorry you gotta watch me do this. I don't know how to edit. The only thing I know how to do is pause. <laughs> so alright. So Hopefully those are those will work. Maybe I need to have four. I don't know why this is not working for me. Alright, I'm tearing it off again. I'm going to try. Maybe it needs four thingies. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think I figured it out. I cut the strip off so it's just the one strip on each side, right? Okay. We'll get this yet, you guys. I promise. Okay. Make sure that's glued down good. I hope they are. I've pulled them off and on so many times. All right. Yes. So then when I bring this down, it will be a gusset, right? Small one. All right. Well, let's try it. Try not get too much glue on this because you don't want to glue the gusset shut. <clears throat> so... A little bit. Get the strings off there. Okay. 
And then don't forget, blue in the bottom too. I know you guys are like, what? Yep, hold on. I'll show you what my brain is thinking. So I'll try to get these even again. Try not to get too much glue on you. sides yeah, glue a minute to so then I'm gonna cut the top here just above my stitching these before. Lesson learned. All right. A little crooked on the sewing. That's okay. Did not sew my thing together, so they're still good, I think. Let's check. Yep. There. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is... Oh, this is so cute. Find my center, I guess, and then put my hole <coughs> like it is a tag. So where we got four, it's about two inches. Mm, about right there. Where's my copper dial? I think I can get it in there. Might not, might not work. Maybe I'll just get my big one out have to worry about it. Now, tricky thing might be putting the grommets in on each side. So, I'm going to try it. I've never done it before, so this could be a total disaster, and it will never get uploaded. We'll see. We will see. Let's put one of these in. Yeah. Or do I want the bigger ones? Yeah, maybe the bigger ones. I have to read my little chart here because it has on there, like with the grommet, or with the washer and without a washer. Okay, there's two. Where's my little washers? Come on, washers. Two washers, two grommets, or eyelets, or whatever they're called. Alrighty. These are three sixteenths, right? <coughs> Let's see here. 
hold on. I got to clear this off. Okay, I got the grommets in. They look good. So now I'm going to, I have to, I forgot to get the ribbon. I want to put a ribbon through there. So hold on. Okay, I got my red ribbon. And I also made a couple little t um, tags to put in the tag. So it's like a secret. It's like a secret place. I just made a couple with a <clears throat> leftover, um, what do you call it, napkin. So I just put those in there. So that's like a secret. I can make it so nobody knows that this is a pocket too. A tag, but it's also a pocket. So you just put your thing through there. I needed to use my little pokey tool here. There we go. I just put it through there like that. And then just tied it. I had it so cute, really, before. So. But anyways, that's, you get the gist. There. And you have a little tag pocket for your little secret writing. You can glue this on, or you could tuck it in. So, and you could, uh, you know, decorate more if you want on, on your tag pocket, pocket tag, pocket tag, secret pocket tag. Yeah. So there you have it. I think it turned out cute. I love this uh, napkin too, by the way, from Spectremark Creations. I like to fiddle around here because I like to have it have the little things down but <clears throat> cute I think it turned out adorable there you go thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed subscribe and if you like the video give me a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it thank you I'll see you in the next one bye Thank <laughs> you.